Hi everyone, it's Farhan Della with your weekly angel reading for August the 27th now, and um, summer is just in its tail end in Toronto. And I was trying to think about what to talk about this week, and I looked at the card spread, and um, the first thing that came to my mind is that we often decide that we're going to be happy when we accomplish certain things in our life. In other words, we prolong happiness until we've achieved our goals. And I feel the angels coming in to intervene right now. And what they want to convey in the message is, is that every moment in our life is worth celebrating. It's not just our goals, because our goals, when we achieve them, just represent one particular moment in our life. And if we focus all our happiness and put them in one basket on one moment, then we're losing sight of all the joy that we could be experiencing from all the existence of all everything that there is to be happy for right now. So what are you grateful for right now? Instead of wondering um, what it would be like to be happy if you lost 10 pounds, if you got that job, if you found the partner of your dream. So what are you happy for now? And that in itself will activate the joy factor, as the angels are saying, um, and open up your heart to be able to experience joy in this moment right now. And oftentimes we prolong that sensation until we've accomplished something but once we've accomplished it then what and then we're looking towards the next goal and who knows when we're going to achieve that so um don't prolong happiness don't put it in um future tags a ten, uh, tense um choose to decide to be happy now and what you'll also discover is that when you're vibrating joy and happiness that it benefits everything and everyone around you let's face it when we're around happy people it makes us happy too and that has a ripple effect and so on and so on so be responsible for the energy that you're bringing not just to yourself but all those around you because you yourself could be having an impact on everyone simply by the vibration that you have to offer in this moment so don't prolong happiness um, so that segues, that, um, segues me into this week's reading and know if you picked it, number one, the angels are saying that your, your prayers are being heard. Uh, and so celebrate, be joyous, um, look towards each moment with a sense of optimism that everything that you have to say, pray for and ask for, you are being given or granted um, for your highest and greatest good. So, you know, if you're not getting what you're asking for, you're definitely getting something better. And give yourself um, the opportunity to experience um, the feeling of a success in every step along the way of achieving all the goals that you want. So in other words, even if you accomplish one small step towards your dreams and whatever that may be, you accomplished it, celebrate that too. And know that you're getting one step closer um, with each step that you're taking towards achieving your goals. But don't wait until the final day when you when you get what you're asking for to celebrate. But know that the angels are saying that um, all your prayers are being heard. There isn't a prayer that isn't unheard. And the universe doesn't judge, good or bad. Whatever you're thinking, whatever you're feeling, is in fact an offering for prayer. So be mindful of that as well. And also know that the angels are saying, Archangel Raguel, that everything is in divine order. And sometimes when we're caught in the emotions of things and we're not really certain about where we are in the process because things could look complicated or there could be obstacles, just know that the angels are working behind the scenes to help you in every step along the way. Okay, so look past the illusions of the negativity or any emotions and know that whatever the outcome is going to be is for the highest and greatest good. The angels are encouraging you to keep a state of optimism by staying with positive affirmations and prayers and keeping a positive mindset and a positive outlook. And that will also accelerate you towards achieving um, your dreams and goals at a faster rate, but also keep you at a higher frequency along the way. Okay, so your frequency is something that you have to maintain on a moment to moment basis. So if it falls low, if you fall into fear, if you fall into negativity, go into your spiritual bag of tricks, whether that be prayer, affirmations, um, calling on your angels, calling on God, calling on the ascended masters, writing out letters, expressing your desires and wishes in, in 
affirmative ways, whatever that may be. It could be dancing, it could be singing, to pull you out of that lower frequency and back to the higher one up again. Now, if you're in a dispute with someone and things aren't... Um, uh, things may seem complicated at the time and you're working out details, just know that if you pray for what's happening is for everyone's highest and good, then there will be positive outcomes for everyone involved. But know with certainty that everything is in absolute divine order and you are being heard. Okay. Sometimes obstacles and challenges come to us, but I look upon them as lessons and not really things that are obstructing us from where we need to get but things that come along the way to help us expand and learn the truth about who we are and whatever it is that we need to do in order for our souls to grow and expand so instead of falling into victimization and saying why me ask why not me and what am I supposed to learn from this situation and finally Archangel Jophiel is saying have patience <laughs> there's that word Everything is working out in your favor and always is. The angels always say that everything is working out for your highest and greatest good and have trust and faith and belief that everything is as such. Now, if you're having difficulty in seeing um, the beauty and joy in the situation of where you are at, then call on Archangel Jophiel and say, Jophiel, please beautify my environment. Okay, wherever you are, whatever state of mind that you're in, wherever place you are in your whatever place you are at in your life, you can see um, the beauty in everything if you just call upon Archangel Jophiel and say, please help me to see the beauty in everything. And no matter where you are, what the situation is, and what frequency you're at, it will lift you up. And one of the examples that I love is when you look out into the sky and you see that the clouds are gray, just know that the clouds, that the sky is always blue, that the clouds are just obstructing the sky. But when you're on a plane and you're flying and you start to ascend and you go past the clouds, what do you see? You see a blue sky. So no matter what, the sky is in fact always blue. But if your perception is to see that the sky is gray, then you're going to limit yourself in observing the true beauty of the brightness of the blue sky, okay? It goes beyond the clouds. It's up to you to see what you just choose to perceive. So again, the angels are always here to help you and support you through any of your life process. I'm Farhan a spiritual personal trainer and angel therapist. Um, if you enjoyed this reading, please like or comment in the comment section below and definitely give me feedback if you're liking these weekly angel readings and uh, definitely contact me if you're interested in your own personal reading. Till next time. Angel blessings. Have a good day, everyone.